Let's talk about the fantastic clip effects that's in Traction Waveform, and in particular, tape stop and start. That's something that's really lovely to use. And you can see on these lines here, where it goes down like that, then that's, that's going to be a tape stop. And when it comes upwards, it's going to be a tape start. And likewise here, just have a quick listen to that. We get, that's the stop and start. And within any clips, one of the cool things that you can do is you can just have an effect within that tiny clip. So in the case of this tiny bit here, I wanted it to go up seven semitones there. I wanted just a single note, which was this. And I was able to do that really easily within clip effects. You can do other things as well, like if I were to grab this here, and you can do a pitch fade or a volume fade on that. So if you listen here, that's a pitch fade. Or I can add a fix, add clip effect. So basically I started with this one tiny loop here on the piano, and I added in the drums, the bass, um, and the tape stop and start effects. So here it is. Now, there's something else going on there, which is a uh, vibrato. So I've created a slightly different sound here using this air windows thing. And if I solo it here and have listened to what the piano is like back here. And then I've listened to what it's like here. It's there. So you can hear it in there. click. Not really audible though, the whole thing is playing. And in the case of these MIDI drums, I, um, I programmed them in by hand. Uh, and if we look closer at them, we we'll see that the, the hats in particular are not really on, exactly on time, but they're in sort of a bluesy time. And what's happening here, I've got a drum submix because I've created an audio part for this drum here because you can't do the clip effects on the MIDI stuff. You basically render out the MIDI into an audio file and then add whatever effects you like to the audio. Likewise I did it here in the bass. And that together with the other bass here is... So there's not really that click there because one leads into the other. So that's pretty fun. A sub mix there, as I said. That's something I can do a video on later as well. But it makes things really easy because you can just hide away all the drums into one little sub mix. You can affect things together as a sub mix. I could do that with the bass as well if I wanted to. And I could have all the effects on the same bass sounds, since they're both from the same thing anyway. If you're interested in buying Waveform Pro, by the way, link in the description below. And that's a, an affiliate link, and it'll help my channel a lot if you choose to purchase. And I'll see you soon.